here we are, downtown Enterprise, Paper Street Enterprise. Two and a half years in the making. We've ripped the ceilings out. We've pumped insulation into the roof. We've done it with our own hands, with the help of Daryl Brand and his willingness to see my dream and fight for this. What could be better than to have somewhere where a community can come together and sit and have conversation and bounce ideas? No judgment, no nothing, just honest conversation. So that's what I want to do. I have a heart for helping people create their ideas, make their dreams come true. Paper Street will be a hangout for filmmakers, web designers, graphic designers, any media can come together and mold something, can talk. Paper Street is not only for filmmakers and media creators, it's for anybody. A new business wants to come in and just talk ideas. An old farmer wants to come in and talk about how we can sell more hay. We have the creative minds to give ideas that can set them apart. Here at Paper Street Enterprise, we will have cubicles, lab space, and I will also house my own office here. I plan to spend my majority of my life and my time here while traveling out and adventuring and telling real life stories. I have been told, challenged, confronted that opening this and doing this in a small town is not my bang for buck. And I come back to where my heart is in this community and what could happen and what will happen. We're gonna take a little stroll here, downtown Enterprise. This is something that in the last five years has completely taken a new facelift. We just passed the OK Theater back there and it got a historic Oregon building grant and over $100,000 has been donated to creating that building. Now, Wild Carrot is an awesome story. They came from the west side of Oregon supplying their product to retail around the West, nationally. But they wanted a different life. They wanted a country life for their family. And so they decided to uproot, change their business plan a hair, not a lot, and here they are in one of the coolest, oldest buildings here in Enterprise. Wild Carrot is a company that has made natural, all natural products for anybody and everybody in their normal life. Coming along, they have also bought this building next to it and it is a secret. But look at this awesome glass that they're adding into the front. We have now entered Andy McKee land. Andy McKee, also someone from the west side, the Portland area, someone willing to invest his money. All this stone building from there to the end of the block is Andy McKee and is remodeling. He's taken these old buildings and not only is he gonna remodel, he's remodeling in a way that they're gonna be good for 100 years. This is high-end woodwork, rock work, everything being done to a T. That's huge. I think the times are changing, business is changing, and we can have high-end clients and high-end businesses here in Eastern Oregon. And that's what we want to do. We want to create high-end video that brings in better clients, that brings in strong business, strong clients. Sounds like capitalism at its best. To having JC take on the Range Rider and what it's going to be, her experience down in Terminal Gravity has already shown. All the time, new bands, uh, new things going on. Lots of hours, that's something we need in Enterprise. There's barely anywhere you can go that's open 10 o'clock at night to even have food. It's impossible. There's Mexican restaurant with who we love, Leo, keep doing it, brother. But we need more, and I hear their stuff coming, and I'm excited to the day that those places open to walk in, shake their hand, and see what we can do for them here at Paper Street. This whole block in the last five years has completely been changed. We now have a breakfast place that you can go and the food is good. Red Rooster does it right down here at Enterprise and the food, big, hearty. You're gonna know that you ate something. On the theme of renovation out here in Eastern Oregon, 
this is a prime example. This is an old building that they came in and pretty much gutted and turned into a high-end automotive shop. Plus, they're slanging cars here left and right. You guys might remember we did a film for the Wallowa Valley Center for Wellness down here at the Annex earlier in 2017. This place houses a group of professionals that have come together to give their services in one location. It makes it so a person can come in, get treated or get talked to by a group of people that you would have to go to multiple locations, a hospital, a therapist, a physical therapist, a psychiatrist, all these things you would have to bounce around. They are all housed here at the Wallowa Valley Center for Wellness. Pretty awesome what's happening here at Downtown Enterprise. You look across here, the rumor is there's implants coming in from the Moscow, Idaho area. He will be taking the old Ace Hardware building, which is a huge commercial spot, Downtown Enterprise. And he's gonna be putting in a brewery, pizza shop, burgers it sounds like. And I know where he's coming for his content. Sugar Time Bakery here in their new location, looking better than ever thanks to Andy McKee. Can't beat it, downtown enterprise. What stage are you at? This is still stage one, pretty much? True. Stage one, yeah, we just finished demolition. And to, like I said, we're bringing the pumper truck and concrete bales, concrete's coming in this afternoon. And we're gonna be pumping some concrete, filling our footings and, and just getting ready to start framing tomorrow. My goal has been utilize the theater in a way that it hasn't been um, as much over the last, you know, maybe 30 years, but having it useful in all fronts, like fundraisers, movies, like what I've been doing, bringing in live music acts that are high-end acts. Yeah, Grammy winning acts, mm -hmm. some, something you might have to travel otherwise to go yep. see, but bring them in here. Yep. And it's been doing really well. And then, then I want to see small production plays and and uh, you know any other thing that can go on that theater stage, you know we've had the kids from the high school perform on our stage. Just have it be used as a community event space, you know, where people can all participate. You guys make a movie, let's show it at the theater, mm -hmm. you know. Be, mm -hmm. And then uh, as we hopefully as we upgrade and get the screen equipment, and because now there's no screen right now, but hopefully within the next year or so through fundraising whatever we'll have a brand new screen and brand new projection. And, and we'll be able to do some awesome stuff. I want to do next next summer at the summer fest or you know the big enterprise celebration. Okay. We, we're gonna we're whatever state we're at. We're gonna have a big grand reopening. There it's gonna go. celebrate the centennial of the theater. There it is. Yeah. What do you need here in enterprise? Well, right now, so a lot of people ask about the movies, and you know we've we've been awarded this hundred thousand dollar grant, which is wonderful. We still have about thirty thousand in cash that we could be raising for that. We have more fundraisers coming this year to that end. And then we're gonna start a Kickstarter project of some sort, you know? Yes. And so the goal being with that, to tackle the movie equipment and then sound, so that when bands do come, like we we do the best we can, but we don't have, you know, say the top end yep. sound equipment. Yeah. And then who knows down the road, we could be like the new Austin City Limits. You, you know? never know. You could be in happen. there filming yeah. every month you know, yeah. and send it out on the web. You bet. You know, who we, knows what could happen. We'd like to do some of that anyway. So. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Daryl. Yeah, thank you, so, man. Yeah. It's been fun working yeah. with you guys. Heck yeah. yeah. This community loves each other. It's so apparent. They all work for each other. There is differences of thinking. We have artists on the left or whatever, and we've got the farmers on the right or whatever, but in the end, we seem to get stuff done and it's different here. And I know that.